Come on, Pat. Come on. Give me one of them contact dunks I gave you. Oh, my. Patrick Beverly's recent appearance on ESPN trended number one on the website of YouTube. And when I really think about it, it doesn't surprise me that much. This man has been an inherent staple in the NBA ever since he tore Russell Westbrook's meniscus in the playoffs in 2013. That's nine years ago, and he's been regarded as one of the best defenders ever since until Russell Westbrook said he's been running around doing nothing. Kind of re-solidified himself in the past few years, and then he just trended because he said Chris Paul's been running around doing nothing and can't play defense. And well, despite just being listen to this one of only 11 players left from the 2009 nba draft class in the nba patrick beverly has never been a star like these other two bastards and sorry to crush your dreams at 34 years of age or whatever the hell you are um it's not gonna happen so let's see what would happen if patrick beverly would be in the shoes of the guys that he has beef with he's got to be one of the most talked about 78 overall 2k players ever well now because i gave this man a 99 potential he has the ceiling and floor of magic johnson at six foot one as you can see there's should be absolutely no fail that this man should be a 99 overall like literally none his jump shots the exact same i just put it on very quick and for his attributes this is just his rookie card from the 2009 draft class except i made him a little bit better at shooting much better dunker even better at defense oh yeah probably the greatest defender of all time actually and that's really it everything else is really the same i just made him a little bit better so he actually plays because he was a second round pick and now he's projected to go top 10 in the draft and well in the lottery i don't even know if he's gonna go number one he probably won't and uh shout out to the blazers for winning it in this uh you know fantasy universe because in real life it just happened the magic one but the dog ain't going number one anyway chad holmgren number one patrick Be there it is patrick beverly is going to go team up with cade cunning 75 overall drafted before a bunch of guys better than him overall wise because they know uh if, if they tell you hey yo this guy at worst is gonna be at magic johnson you don't just pass up on that also i changed absolutely nothing with his tendencies i might do that later on in the video if he's like just absolute garbage but i changed nothing this is patrick beverly to the t 36 minutes per game they are not playing around let's see what this man is made for oh they haven't lost a game yet so that's probably promising oh my oh my god i was about to say do i have the difficulty off because like what the hell they just won every single game and then lost three straight but still oh yeah one last thing i forgot to show come on the dunk packages oh my god i can't wait i can't wait i i need a, a patrick beverly free throw lines dunk dunk i need it hey you you see this beautiful thing right here this logo that is the sponsor of this video prize picks prize picks is far and away the easiest way to play daily fantasy sports and you right now can get 100 percent back of your deposit up to $100 by using the code CLICK. It's very simple. Name of the channel. Let me show you A, why I'm very nice at this, and B, how easy it is to use prize picks. Look at this. These guys are so generous. Today, they're even doing a special. You can get 30.5 points of rebounds assist. Hopefully, Jimmy Butler gets it. It'll be kind of awkward if he doesn't, but easy over. The guy's averaging 30 on the playoffs. You can do anywhere from two to five players entries on this app, but I always like to go with five. You know, maximize my, you know, return, my revenue. Look where that's got me. You see this? I'm nice. I'm going to go hopefully an easy under on Reggie Bullock's rebounds. I'm gonna go under on Clay Thompson's points as well. I'm just feeling a little, you know, fall. You don't got too many games in the 20s, but like 15's low for Jordan Poole. I'm gonna go with over for him. And I'm gonna go with the smooth over on Bam Adebayo's rebounds. Now I'm gonna do $25 is what I'm feeling. You can get up to $250 back on this entry right here because it's five people. Also, even if you get four correct, you get double your money. So I'd be getting $50 if I get four out of five. Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Use the code click and click the link in the description to go to their site or go to their app, whichever one you prefer, whatever is best for you and now to get back into the video for the people who do say that patrick beverly just runs around and does nothing he brought up a stat on espn where he said that he holds players to the second lowest field goal percentage in the entire nba except for Giannis. did not win rookie of the year and actually he averaged oh he averaged 14 and a uh, five that's not bad for a 76 overall player efficient shooting i'm not mad at it but chet is different because the blazers also suck and coach of the year goes to memphis taylor jenkins but it does not matter why oh yeah patrick beverly already all defensive second team by the way almost won rookie of the year 51 and 31 we are tied with boston for the first seed he was third on the team in scoring and there's a lot of people in double figures so yeah you know what i mean he don't got the role yet but he might become a 10-time champion at this rate or i just jinxed him otherworldly holy hell i just left came back and i have the update required screen yeah i'm, I'm recording this at 5 a.m as usual and now they give me the blacks god i hate this game and now what the hell is this did i just enter the matrix again oh my god we lost the third game we're down 3-1 in the first oh pat bev oh patty boy and i jumped into a game to watch him play and he fouled out my disappointments immeasurable and guess what kate cunningham fouled out too we're gonna lose aren't we oh no rj please stop i'm not even gonna watch this ob for three. Oh, it's over it's over we lost in the first round didn't we bounced by the knicks one versus 18 gordon hayward and kemba walker what is this boston eliminated screen get it over with pat bev it's not looking too hot knicks got swept the next round then the heat got swept pelicans win i mean he played well he played well though uh, okay but if you keep selling we're gonna give you the chris paul treatment russell westbrook retired pat bev's an 80 
Petey in his second year. He's 22. Hey, you know what, Pat? I added Westbrook and CP3 to the draft class. Oh, yes. Rookie Westbrook. Rookie Chris. Hey, if you want the smoking, you'll have to get it. We ain't getting no type of awards. But the all-defensive first team is going to be a staple on his career, in his career. Um, And he averaged the same exact numbers as last year, basically. But he's still only an 80 overall. Give the guy some time. Chicago, will you be? We lost Chicago again. Okay, great. Another first round exit. He's playing just fine, but we got to wait for superstardom. It's okay. It's coming. We're still in Patrick Beverly, Patrick Beverly era. We need Patrick Beverly, Magic Johnson era. Chris Paul went to the Thunder again, and Russell Westbrook went to the Pelicans. If Zion stays there, that is terrifying. Pat Bev's an 84 this season. Russell Westbrook, rookie of the year. Oh, yeah. I haven't been checking who the hell we've signed. We signed DeMontis Sabonis and Christian Woods back. Sure. Why the hell not? Pat Bev, 15 and 5 this season. We're the third seed. Obviously, he's still, you know, waiting for the 90s, but we're, we got like one more year left. Oh, God. It's a game seven. Come on. Beat Lamel. Oh, my God. We lost again. And he had eight, 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 and eight. Eight turnovers. What the hell is this stat? I have never seen a four eights. Eight turnovers? You you trash bastard. What the hell are we doing? I know you had four blocks, but couldn't have made this into steals. You might have won this game. Eight turnovers? Okay, we're, we're, we're here now. 88 overall. We have expectations. You need you have things to do. Eggs Benedict out here winning every single award. The sixth man, the most improved. But where the hell is Patrick Beverly? Patrick, come on. Oh, I mean, 16 and five. You know, we're, we're still inching up the leaderboard. Soon he's going to be averaging 20. One of these days his shot tendency went up by 12s ever since he got drafted so i mean that's a pro well, that's a plus second seed against the no not again not uh, you've never made it past the first round we've almost always been the upper seed you guys are notorious sellouts this is crazy getting cooked by julius randall they lost in game seven by one point patrick beverly actually had a good game oh great now kevin durant went to the knicks we'll probably beat him now actually 92 overall patrick he also got a max contract and that, now we're starting to push it with your 92 overall and you still have made an all-star our team and matter of fact chris paul's here again he's back in his second career i mean he's averaging 19 6 and 5 good percentages you know maybe, maybe he just becomes bill russell now a point guard bill he won mvp man, it's in like his second year or something chris get the, get the hell out of here man sent shay to the bench who the hell this is not willis nixon that is pat riley quentin grimes uh, starting three. Oh yeah we got a knicks player there you go we can make it past the first round now right we did it we made it past oh my goodness oh wow oh things are going beautifully chris paul can we meet can we please meet up in the final please chicago stop it yes we got it the chris paul superstar versus patrick beverly superstar matchup they got shay off the bench we got a little bit better of the starting lineup so it's kind of fair i don't know what the hell's about to happen but something is cp3 uh solid game one but you lose you just lost to patrick beverly and we just lost to chris paul what the derek whitehead 42 points isn't he off the bench i didn't even see Pat bev had a smooth 12 maybe he'd have some more points if he wasn't next to oh i don't know Cade cunningham also probably wouldn't be in the playoffs we we are here it is time look at this 125 128 and the thunder have the ball and pat bev is guarded by chris or chris paul is guarded by pat bev pass over to chris paul here he is pat bev they double team him they pass it down to shay good defense on the layup he misses it pass up to pat bev bev on the break he's got the iso with josh giddy he's also got cade cunningham cade the hezzy he's going all the way he goes into the post back out to jamal murray for three that's all jamal murray sells out the bubble god himself how dare you i also don't know how you got here but you're probably trash now did they just sub out pat no they didn't no did they sub out chris paul too what what the hell is going on oh whitehead dropped like 40 in game one what what is this defense okay over to holland for three it's good never mind he missed it he somehow sold that the crazy in and out is that luca Gar no is that zach collins still in the nba sure man we won we won we're going on to game uh four up two to one jesus christ patrick beverly 26 six rebound seven assists five steals three blocks nine for 12 shooting i want to give you the mvp chance from the bench another win up three one is there any way we blow a three one to chris paul 118 117 141 left in this game cunningham all the way to the basket nobody there to stop him three point deficit for okc as chris paul brings it up looking real confident but uh, you're about to see your season end if you don't do something mr number six what the hell he got a new number chris paul bucket no up to kate again kate to the basket he's uh the layup gets blocked away by whoever that is Sadiq Bay back out it makes its way over to Kate again setting all fall screens for Jamal Murray Jamal gets room for three and he makes it there we go redeem yourself that might be the dagger climb him up come on just one more possession Bev fighting over the screens he's still there Chris Paul can't go anywhere come on good defense yes Shea with the ball Shea around Murray his Canadian brethren over to uh who's that fall uh, is that Taco Falls brothers sure uh the, okay Cade layup off rebound OKC they got a kind of a chance oh snap 
the the yo the inbound steal from Sadiq Bay to end it. Sadiq Bay doesn't even give him a chance. That is crazy too, because look at this dude right here, Holland. I think that is is wide open right in front of him, and he decides to throw it through like four people instead. That man fall was bugging. It is over. We are going to win the 2000 and whatever the hell NBA championship. Patrick Beverly, 21 points, five rebounds, five assists to beat Chris Paul in the finals. This is one of the best ideas I've ever had. Pat Bev uh, held Chris Paul to 41% field goal. That's pretty funny because in that ESPN video, he said he held, he holds the league to 41% from the field. And guess what? He played better. He averaged 18 and seven on 55% from the field. Patrick Beverly had a better finals than Chris Paul. We, we live in a society. Raul Neto retired. We drafted Patrick Ewing's grandson, Beverly, 94 overall in year like six or seven or whatever. Patrick Beverly, finally, this is, the, this is what we've been waiting for. The one time all-star. Him and Lonzo Ball make it same year. Chris Paul is actually right under him. With that being said, that coincides with us as the eighth seed. So we fell off and he fell on. Kate is still here. Don't worry. But uh, I don't know why why we fell off. He is fourth in the DPOY race. You never know. He might get one eventually. Play-in game Pistons, huh? After the championship, the play-in game. And we won. Okay, cool. We're playing Giannis. And he's up three to two. We came back. We won. Good stuff. Second round against Miami. I don't know how. what the hell you guys got. We just got cooked. Four to one loss. Isaiah Elohim, Tyler Hero, and Scoot Henderson give buckets to a uh, Pat Beverly who shot five for 14. And Chris Paul got it. We couldn't run it back because this man, he ducked us. He ducked. Like, at least we got one match, but he got his ring. I don't know where the hell Westbrook is. Is he still on the Pelicans? Yeah, he is. And he just lost to Kyrie in the playoffs. Kevin Durant retired. Patrick Beverly is a higher overall than Cade Cunningham. He is a 96. His shot tendency is up to a 90 now. See, look, back in the old 2Ks, these used to not adjust. This is a big time thing that these adjust because now I don't know if it adjusted much since last season, but all I know is this bastard should be shooting. Oh, Scoot, congrats. Now get the hell out of here. Don't care. 10th? 10th in the 10th. What, what psychopath decided to put us here? Wait, are we? Oh my, of course it's the Knicks. They beat us again. We didn't see them any year. They had Kevin Durant and now he retired and now all of a sudden, oh, we're going to lose to them again. Pat Bev had seven turnovers in the playing game. We're, we're cooked. Oh, thank God. Julius Randle. Ret he wasn't even on the Knicks. We still got cooked. 97 overall Patrick Beverly. We live in a sick, twisted timeline. 97 shot tendency, by the way, or something like that. Whatever. Close enough. One decimal point. One digit off. Oh, well, that's promising. Um, the, 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 the I'm sorry. I'm, I need to stop saying bastards. The, the third time all-star, all-star starter, Patrick Beverly. He's on the untouchables list, but I'm pretty sure he expires after this season. So it's not like you have much control over that. Spencer Rodman, who created that? Oh boy. Oh buddy boy. Not only did he average 26, Patrick Beverly, he did it. He's in the mix. Defensive player of the year. Wow. Look at this. Let's see over and under on me turning into Dr. Seuss every video. All NBA first team. Oh, this is the one. We're here. He entered his true NBA prime years. He's 28 years old. Click the button. Come on. Don't need a... Oh. Are, are we being, are we being serious? What, what was the point of that? A sweep? You let the heat do a sweep? 37, 15, and 13, and you lost? I can't even blame you now. You're nuts. You're insane. You are nuts. 53 and 53 shooting splits with 93. He shot 50, 50, 90, and averaged 39 and 10, and you lost in a sweep. A sweep. Chris Paul won it. Oh, screw you. Oh, wait, yeah, right. He could leave. I honestly, oh, he didn't leave. Never mind. Who the hell is Baylor Skyser, man? No, 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 you're lying. No, you're lying. Patrick, Pat, I didn't even ask for all this. The captain? I thought we were settled into like the mid roll, and here we are. No, no, uh uh. No, no, this didn't happen. No, no, give it to someone else or something. There's no way. You I'm honored to be in your presence, Patrick. Most viable player, defensive player of the year. Now just win a ring because we need that at this point. You leading a team to a championship? Definitely m very necessary. Cool. We're in the finals against Portland, and whoever the hell Jamal McKnight is, oh, watch. You won't come back to this video in seven years and tell me he's the greatest player of all time. Why did I just click simulate? I don't, who cares? Game two, another easy win. Pat is insane. Cade Cunningham is his second fiddle now. Things have changed since the first ring. Another win, Cade. Okay, he heard me say he was the second fiddle and then Patrick dropped five points. What the hell is this? It doesn't matter. We still scored 110. That should be it. Patrick Beverly's Detroit Pistons are your 2020, whatever the hell, NBA champions. He is the finals MVP. Despite having a game with five points, he averaged 21, seven and nine on insane shooting splits, by the way, for a six foot one man. 
one more time for the people in the back. I did nothing to this man. I didn't even change it. Tendency gave him some potential. That's the same as, you know, Chris Paul was an, a, a, almost an MVP. Westbrook was just wanted the even playing field. And he said, oh yeah, I'll just take it a step further as a uh, 98 overall, 30 years old. All right. Can I mention uh, that uh, Patrick Beverly is the second NBA player to win most valuable player defensive player of the year in finals MVP? He did it. It's him and Akeem Olajuwon. We witnessed it right here. Oh, not a, not a MVP this year, but still the defensive player of the year because the oh my it's jacob underwood come on toronto you don't got none on us thank you very much chicago same goes with you and cleveland's up three to two three to three. Oh, oh we lost we lost by 22 points in game seven is that johnny davis giving us oh it's jackson who the hell is this patrick beverly 18 points good game lost though sucks mavericks koa pete wins the championship is he won at finals mp over luca okay sure but pat bev and Cade be like a top like five duo of all time kind of a weird uh, you know yeah sure why not dpoy yet again wow we finally did it we beat the new york knicks in game seven we only needed 30 plus from both of our stars but hey celtics get the hell out of here and Cavs have been giving us a run for our money and guess what they stole all of our money we're broke the complete bankruptcy they won the championship who the hell is jalen mitchell i don't know another pat bev master class of defense he didn't make an all nba team though but it's cool why because with a 50 that's good enough you know equal equal opportunities everybody else right no we lost in the first round of milwaukee sure why not the raptors when who, Declan Daru, DPOI again. He's undefeated. First seed in the conference this year. Why not? Sure. Now, uh, just don't lose, please. Cool. The, oh, we lost. The Cavs have. We've met our match. Whoever the hell Jalen Mitchell is, Garland, Mobley, and and Jackson Davis and Max Christie. Yeah, they got us. Was that Bam out of bio too? How old? you are an old man? Screw it. Throw an 84 draft class while we're at it. This league's already insane enough. 30 though. You gave him the 30 for 30. The whole 30 piece. Another MVP DPOI. Come on. Hey, close it out. Do it. Do it twice. Akeem ain't do it twice. No, not the Raptors. The Raptors? Who the hell is Cooper Zachary? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. We have lost a lot. Like, we're not that good. Like, I don't, I know we won two rings and all oh, that's good, but like, I don't know. You know, it's funny. I seen this thing on Twitter recently and it was like, oh, Steph and Braun skewed your, your, your expectations of NBA players. They not winning all these rings. To an extent, you're right. Another extent, Jordan won six. Remember the story, Patrick Beverly, you should be more like Michael Jordan. And he's actually in this league somewhere, and I have no clue. I hold on though. Three MVPs is kind of crazy, big dog. Oh hey, Michael Jordan rookie. Oh, he's on, he's on the he's on the Blazers. Who the hell is Willis Nixon? First round win, second round win, third. Uh, we made we made it back. Oh my God, we're down 2-0. Yo, Javante Taylor's hair is going crazy behind him. Paulo Banchero, how you doing? The draft lottery was yes. I already forgot what pick Houston has, but um, they're probably like third or something. And uh, oh snap, we tied it up two to two. I thought it was just gonna be over. All right, so look, I know it's been a while, but please, yes, is that him? Yes, it is. It is time to watch Prime Patrick. Is that Scotty Pippen? Who the hell is passing the ball? I don't know. Passing an MVP, Pat Bev. He makes his way to the basket. He pulls up. Close shot is good. Takes a one point lead with 219 left in game five of the finals. Mr. Man, the screen by. Oh my goodness. He got a charging foul. Trey Terrence with Dre Man. Yeah, yeah. Not very ideal timing. Cade back over to Bewley. Matt Bewley, the screens. He's going to make his way to the basket. Take the layup, and that is good. Nice little set ran. I mean, I can't complain. Man over to Bonchero for three. And he hits the hell out of that one. Come on, Pat. Come on. Give me one of them contact dunks I gave you. Oh my God. He might actually do it. Lay up. He missed the layup. If we lose because you missed the layup, I'm going to cry. The pass down the. Oh, yes. The steal. Give it to Pat Bev. Whoever that is. Queen with the ball. Oh, Pat Bev on the drive. He gets blocked. He got blocked by Bonchero. By the way, can we universally agree? I heard that Bonchero's name is actually pronounced Boncaro yesterday. Can we universally agree to not do that? Bonchero sounds way cooler. Wait. Hold on, Pat. With, uh, yes. There you go, Pat. To the basket. What the? He got blocked again. This man just took the finesse Kyrie Irving layup and got absolutely swatted by, uh, I think that's fall again. Is it, wasn't this dude on the other team we played with Chris Paul? Pat, bro, just dunk. I gave you like a 90 dunk for a reason. I know you're old, but I don't care. All right, so if we win because Pat Bev got blocked twice or like three times or something, that's the real issue. Yeah, sure. Just give it a K to this point. Four seconds, three seconds. Mr. Cunningham pulls up. It's good. Mr. Harrington, the screen by man. He throws it down to Bonchero in the post. He's getting double teamed and he takes it anyways. That was an awful shot. Give it a pat. Come on. Oh, Cade's wide open in the corner for three. Cade Cunningham closes it out. And I mean, that's the Chris Middleton to Giannis. Giannis being Patrick Beverly. Monchero again trying to save them. One more chance. He's going absolutely nowhere. Great defense being played by Bewley right now. And he walks out of bounds. This man did they, the spin out of the post straight into the Pistons logo. It is over for this one. Uh, screw it. I'll see if Pat can get a bucket. Never mind. They fouled. I don't care. I don't even want to hear the MVP chance. He didn't deserve it after that showing. He missed like three of his six shots.
shots in that little span that we just watched. Coming back from down 2-0 like we're Milwaukee, actually. And that is it. Our third championship is going on the mantle. 15-point win. Patrick Beverly, 25-9 and nine on fantastic shooting, as always. And LaMelo Ball, who must have been fouled out in that game we were just watching because he was not even in the game. And Paolo Banchero taking L to the god, Patrick Beverly. Usman Garuba retired. Russell Westbrook went to the Warriors. We are so deep into this that Russell Westbrook is 34. What the hell? And uh, to be fair, I know this became a Pat Beverly, Chris Paul showdown, but I ain't seen Westbrook once this entire time. Patty boy. This guy. Oh, wait, no. Pat Patrick was defensive player of the year. I don't know why I thought he was most most valuable. Oh, wow. We, beat, we actually upset the Cavaliers just to lose in the next round. Okay. Anthony Edwards, you're still around. Killian Hayes retired in the same overall for 20 years. You know he won DPOI. Now just win another ring. Okay. Okay. We did it. We're back. We're back, baby. We're back. Utah. Hello, Jackson Davis. Scotty Barnes. Wasn't Jackson Davis the dude from Cleveland? I'm be honest. We're late into this. We've seen Patrick Beverly get blocked on a bunch of layups already. Oh, a 40 point win. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, a five point win. Don't mind if I do. Oh, another win. Guess what? Don't mind if I do 18 points. Yeah. Utah. See ya. Oh, I you guys beat us once, please. I don't care. Patrick Beverly, 30 points, 10 assists, six rebounds to win the finals MVP for the fourth time or win a finals for the fourth time. Oh, Kate Cunningham's gone. Guess our run is over. I don't know where he went. I don't really care. We had a good run. The Lakers. Yeah, sure, man. Have a cool LA resort. Yeah, sure, man. Why not be a 38 year old winning MVP again? Four MVPs, four championships. It's nice. It's in alignment. Hey, man, if you needed a season to show that uh, he can carry a team, it's this one. Cade Cunningham left and we're still top three in the conference. Maybe not the Raptors 68 wins, but I mean enough to make it to the second round and beat Miami. And wow, we took the first game against Toronto. Hold on. Come on. Pull a Phoenix Suns thing. Come on. One more. Oh my God. Raptors win the ring. Yeah, that dude is good. Bev Bev didn't win DPOI. Oh yeah, the reign of terror is over. I mean, he made the first. Oh wow, we didn't make the playoffs. Oh yeah, it's over. He's not even on the team. Any wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope. I tripped out. He's on the Sixers. They're fourth in the. Con they just made. They just swept the Pacers. Hold on. Over here, you you got nobody as well over here. And holy hell, that Miami team is insane. That Miami team should win this easy. 4-0. They they just had like 590 overalls. They're gonna win the championship in seven against San Antonio. Never seen that before. I have Russell Westbrook retired for the second time in the video. And Cade Cunningham retired. And now he's in Boston. Man, is the All Star captain in year. 42. You know, it's funny is despite everything, I don't think he ever reached a 99. 98 was the highest, but uh, you know, that, not too shabby. Oh yeah. He's 40 years old, by the way, 40 year old MVP. Stop. Just stop at this point. Six foot one, 40 year old efficient. Boston's the first seed. I don't even have control of this team, but I don't even care. We're going to root for him anyways. I don't care about no six who's getting eliminated. Oh my Boston. They, they lost. They lost to Miami. It's all good though. Valiant effort, old man. And that is it. Patrick Beverly has retired from the NBA after 20 years pro. The 19 is fake. He won five MVP MVPs, four championships, 15 all-star appearances, 10 first team all NBA, one second, one third. I don't think I looked at his badges once the entire video, but a look at these. These are insane. The shot tendency came all the way up from 60 to 99 throughout the video. So there's, you know, a little, um, little experimental thing going on right there. This is so many years. My God, 23, eight and uh, six per game over his career on 52, 43, 94 shooting. He had 40 triple doubles, 476 double doubles, seventh all time time in points, 12th all time in assists, first all time in steals, 50th all time in blocks. Yes, yeah, six foot one Patrick Beverly had more blocks than Serge Ibaka. His career high in points was 61 this season. He made 13 threes, 20 assists, yada yada bada bing. One of the best careers I could ever imagine. And of course, makes the Hall of Fame. And that is it. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. If you don't subscribe to the channel, KJ McDaniel is going to pull up to your house and dunk on your entire family. House will turn into dust, nothing left to be seen. And if you do subscribe, Luka Doncic will hand glaze chocolate covered pretzels for you and deliver them to your doorstep. Shout out to Michael Jordan. I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. Bye.